Hello my friends, I am back to um, share an unboxing. Now a few videos ago I shared the unboxing of one of my Webster's Pages Traveler's Notebook which is this one. Really love the mint green color and I have been using it so it took me a while to get start started on using it. I just realized I lost a diamond on my little on my nail um must have been playing around with geo so i was a little late i i didn't have all the supplies i needed um i wasn't sure if the moleskin um inserts that they sell at target would fit because it i measured it a little too big and i'm still not even sure if it fits in this but when I received the Day Spring kits by Illustrated Faith, and this is one of the devotionals, which is actually like a listing. This was created or designed by the Reset Girl. And so I have been using this one. Now, I'm not exactly 100% um, satisfied with the look in here it's not that functional what I have are just some extra little um, down here some dear Lizzie typewriter sheet notes um, I have a paper clip or two sticker I mean this just came these little items came with the kit I have one little um, strip of sticker here I have, um, the, they give these out at our church, our daily bread. So this is another de new devotional starting September. Um, and I was thinking I might, you know, I mean, I, I, I'm, I don't read them. <laughs> I'll be honest, I don't read them. Um, because I don't want this to be the only bread, the only spiritual bread I eat daily. I don't want to go by this I want to go a little deeper so I don't read it but I figured I can add it to my daily bread so um, it could be an appetizer basically so I can just read you know September 3rd read through that and then dig a little deeper on the topic not just read one short paragraph and then you know spend 10 minutes on this and then five hours scrapbooking like that's not putting God first is what I'm trying to say so, but I, I, I took it home today and I put it in my thing. Um, my, my, um, illustrated faith lists, I've completed eight of them and, um, they're, I guess they're turning out pretty cute. Um, so this was the last one I did. This was yesterday. And so, you know, I kind of prepped a few of them for future use. Um, so I'm liking the fit of the of the Illustrated Faith kit in the binder, in the Traveler's Notebook. It's the perfect height, the perfect width, and it's a little bit, um, just a smidgen wider than the one that it comes with. I like the one it comes with. I like the sheets of paper. And just in case you're wondering, the reason why I skipped a few sheets here is because I want to transfer the notes that I have in my um, Heart of Gold planner. So there's a section back here with some notes that I've taken. And I, I don't want this to be my church note-taking um, thing. <laughs> I want... Um, I want my traveler's notebook to be that okay so that's where I'm getting at um, so this is just how I've used the traveler's notebook you can add two more because in each um, binder or book you get an additional two bands in there and so the problem I had was I purchased this pack on Amazon I love the soft texture paper but as you can see it's a lot shorter 
than the originals. So it kind of just slides up and down in the binder and I don't know if I like it. I don't know if I'm going to keep it. I, I, I don't know what to do with it basically because now I'm thinking I want to go with the moleskin. Um, now, I hated that it came with the blank page. If you remember my last video, I did not like it. But because I started doing this listing prompt, I realized I can do a little bit of smash booking in this blank space. Like, it doesn't have to be grid. It doesn't have to be lined. I can do some, um, some nice pages. So... Now I'm okay with just having it blank and adding my notes. Whether it's crooked, whether it's sloppy, I'm fine with that. As long as I keep my um, devotional and my Sunday church notes in one area, I'm good. Um, the reason I got a second one is, you're going to think this is really silly, but I do not have time to scrapbook. I... I don't have time anymore. I I don't know how else to put it. I don't have time anymore. And yet I keep buying supplies and I keep buying cute little, you know, Project Life cards and albums and, and I just don't have the time. I mean, I need to spend time with my son and my family. I need to spend time with God. I want to spend time with God. I I want to study the Bible. I want to exercise. I want to pre prep meals. I want to go to bed early. You know, I have a, I have a, a you know, an, an eight to, you know, lately it's been eight to six job. And I just don't have the time. On the weekend, I spend it with family. I spend it cleaning up, um, resting, and... So I figured if I can get another one of those traveler's notebooks and treat it like a smash book where any photos that I've taken that week or that day, I can go ahead and I can quickly print it out. So I have a couple here that I'm just going to, this is the cake I made my husband for his birthday. It's a watermelon cake. And then this is a meal that he cooked for us one night it's I think it's mahi but it's got like a teriyaki glaze on it with some steamed uh, broccoli so things like this I can still keep the memory of it but I'm not forced to do it daily or weekly it's just when I get a chance um, so I went back on Amazon I wanted it to be a different color than the mint green because I want it to immediately identify which is which and I'd have to open them up all the time so I got the well this looks pink in person but it's actually pink it's pink and gold so it's gorgeous it's really really pretty like it's so sweet it's so uh, the color looks very vintage but the design is very modern so I went ahead and I got, ooh, the inside is gold. I did not realize that. That's so pretty. Ashley G created this one. I didn't notice if there was a name on the other one. No, it's just regular with dots. This one's solid gold. The, the band is pink and it's designed by Ashley G. There's a pen loop, there's a pocket and another pocket. Oh, you could smell it. Wow. You could smell the leather. It's really good. Um, pocket here, pocket here, other pockets, and one of the books. So, I know that Webster's Pages sells additional traveler notebooks, however, and I love the covers. However, those are lined and those are grid. And I want the blanks. So I may get it so that I can use that in the mint book. Um, which, you know what? I didn't even think of that. I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm just going to rip out this page. Um, 
Okay, so I think I've just figured out what I'm going to do. Thank you guys. You've uh, helped me out just by me recording. So I'm going to add this in here. And this is going to be my scrapbook. My whatever it is. Yearly. Once it's done, I pull it out, stick a new one in. However, they don't sell these individually. So, so... <laughs> Once these are gone, I'm going to have to go to the moleskins. Um, and I'm just afraid it's going to stick out of the binder. That's all. So I'm, I, I am going to now go ahead and purchase the Webster's pages, the ones with the grid. I'm going to add them in here. So now I can use it for my devotionals, for my, um, how do you call that? For my Sunday services at church. So, okay, so I solved that problem. And now uh, this is going to become my, my scrapbook scrapbook. So um, I'm going to put pictures in here. I'm going to use all my cute little stickers that I just got. Um, and if you're curious, um, my last video will show you the haul, the massive haul that I just made. So these are just a few that I'm just pulling out here that are right on my desk. Um, I'm going to be using that in my pretty traveler's notebook. I'm going to continue with my December daily as it is but I figured this was a really nice way to keep memories like movie tickets and put it in here with a little note and a photo and something about the movie I don't know just a quick quick 15 minute scrapbook session I'm not gonna be four hours I'm gonna take 15 minutes that way I wanna cultivate which that's a nice popular word that's been thrown around a lot lately I want to cultivate my creative side but I don't want to do it at the expense at, at the expense of my relationship with God so um, I want to redeem the time um, put him first and still make just a little bit of time to record my personal um, time here on earth so that's the unboxing it's <laughs> it's kind of a confusing unboxing I guess and if you're interested stick around for another five minutes um, because I'm gonna show you what I found at Office Depot um, so Um, I would like to ask you what I should do with these. These are not the right size. I don't want to buy another traveler's notebook to fit these. Um, I don't know if I should return them. I haven't used them. They're just, you know, they're brand new. So just help me, help me figure it out if you have an idea. If you've, you know, encountered the same issue with your traveler's notebook, then I'd love for you to leave me a comment and just give me an idea of what to do. If if it's just to return them, then I'll just return them. Um, I don't know anyone that may use this size. And just to let you know, they are a little more than a four, between four and four and a quarter wide. And between, oh, it's exactly seven and a half inches tall. So, if you know anyone that wants to purchase these, I paid $11.99, um, so I would just charge you the same $11.99 with the shipping and, you know, whatever. Now, I'm going to go on to the Office Depot haul that I just did. I haven't figured out what I saved. I know it was a whole lot that I saved. Um... I have no real purpose to go into Office Depot today. It was just right next to Pollo Tropical, which is um, where we had lunch after church. And I was like, oh, you know, let me see if there's any pens on sale or something. So there actually was. So what I found on sale were these blue Sharpies. And those were two bucks. Um, I believe they're normally... $4.99 so I saved three dollars there also found this pack I also saved I think three dollars and change 
with those. And these are fine point. That's the three packs. So those are two dollars. I got a second um pack for the same two dollars. Um, I'm just trying to show you the like the basic sale items that I got. Here's another pack of those big Atlantics, but this is black. That's blue. Um, I realized that I get a lot of black ink tents, so I decided that I'm going to purposely look for blue. Um, this was on sale for $1 with a purchase of something for 5 so I got him another scissor for school. I, I think he has two, so I'm, I, you know, it was a dollar. I, I wanted to, because he struggles with the cutting, like, he doesn't use scissors. This is the first time he's using scissors, so, um... One of the requirements before school started was to teach him how to use scissors. So I've been struggling with that. And I think it's because the scissors don't curve. So maybe that's going to help him with that. So got that for $1. Oh, these highlighters. Um, it says that it's a flex tip. So if you're highlighting a really thin line of text, you can just use the tip, you can make it wider and then even wider. So I thought that was a little intriguing. I'm a sucker for highlighters. Um, I use them a lot, a lot at work. and um, But at work I like to use the big bulky ones just because I'm highlighting just a lot of stuff at one shot. So these will not work for work. But they will work for my Bible journaling, um, personal, you know, personal um, studying and stuff like that and I like that it said this is what sold me it said it won't dry out so and Bic is a popular brand so and there were two dollars I think they were on sale from I don't know five I don't know okay the last items I got this is for work um they're just file folders that I found these are $1.99 and I have um, just some file folders I want to update because I don't like the manila ones at work. They're so, ugh, they're so boring and I like excitement in my life. So I got those for work. Now what I found was a great deal. Last year I purchased these Office Depot pens. I don't remember what I paid last year, but I'm pretty sure it was a great deal. And this year I found a really good deal. These were one cent each, one penny. So um, that's per family. So the, the cap was three, three packages per family. And I had my husband pay. He, he refused. <laughs> His shoes were hurting. But I still um, convinced him to pay just so I can get him for a penny. So I got, I paid six pennies for these six packages. Um... And I love how they write. I made a mistake last year to only buy two packs of black and like one of blue. But I loved the blue writing on these. So if you guys are looking for a basic ballpoint pen, maybe to write checks, maybe to write in your journal, nothing fancy, very affordable, I recommend these. The thing is, they do run out quick. So if you write, do a lot of writing, you will be tossing these quickly because the ink runs out quick. That's why I grabbed so many because I really enjoy writing in, in, with the pens. They're comfortable on your finger. Really good. So, um, I also found for an incredible deal the um, for a penny. I found sharpeners, and you know if you have watched prior videos i've been in the, in the search for the perfect sharpener um because i still have not found it and i keep asking you people to give me an idea of the sharpener that you recommend and i have not gotten any comments so these were only a penny and the limit was three so i figured oh i might as well get three because if they're really good then i'll have extra and if not then i can just give two away Okay, and keep one per deal. So that was a penny. Again, with the purchase of $5. That's today at Office Depot. Today is August um, 
14. Okay? Now, I don't know what's the better deal I have left. I'll give you... Well, I'll give you two. Expo um, makes these dry erase markers. And they are really good. They are probably the best out there. Um, this package of Expos are priced at $7.89 a pack. So right here we're looking at over $20 worth. I'm going to go with about $24 worth with taxes right here. You would not believe I paid only $1 for each one. Isn't that insane? That's just insane. Like I had to get it because, and it, again, it's three per family. So I just had a dollar. That's a dollar. That's $21 in savings. That's just incredible to me. So um, I, I could just move the camera up a little. So yeah, I thought that was crazy. Another really great deal was this pack of Sharpies. Um, these Sharpies are priced at $12.99. So pretty much $13. Bucks. You get 12 of them. So it comes out to like a dollar... I don't know, a dollar seven each marker, which is great. But for today, I'm not sure when the sale ends, but I, I recommend you go today. Um, I purchased these for three dollars. So this entire set of 12 fine tip. You see it right there. It's a fine tip Sharpie. Three dollars. And I'm thinking in the future, I'm thinking Gio is going to need to do projects for school. You know, this, this is going to really be great. And it's a great deal. You could take up to three per family, by the way. Um, and then I also found this. And you guessed it, $3. So this was also $12.99. This is the ultra fine tip, as you can see there. You, you have 12. Beautiful colors you have here fine tip writing and I'm not sure if there is bleed through I don't recommend you use markers or sharpies in your planner pages it might bleed through I haven't tested it I'm afraid to test it maybe I'll go back to June and do a tester but you know what that's not a bad idea where's my planner just to give you an idea I can do it on camera Go back to a date in June. And open it up. And I'm just going to pick the first one that I can find that'll pull out. Okay. Here, it just pulled out. I don't know if they come labeled with a particular color, but this is like a teal. Yeah, I don't think they come labeled with colors. So, let me move, clear things out. Lay this down. Go back into June. My jumbo paper clip. I bet you're wondering where I got it. Um, I'm pretty sure I don't remember where I got it. <laughs> but, um, this is my personal planner. So, don't go reading things. Okay, I'm just going to write on this page right here on Friday. I'm just going to write, thank God it's Friday. Ah, okay, that was tough. So here's that tip, really nice thin tip. Um, it's not a metal tip, it's plastic. So let me just write, thank God it's Okay, so there I wrote it. Now let me just take a look at the back. Oh, no bleed through. Look at that. No bleed through. Oh, actually, it's right here. Okay, so no, no bleed through. I mean, you can kind of see a little bit. I was writing a little bit hard. So let me just try a little lower. See, I'm writing hard. Let me try to write light. Hello, weekend. 
You can kind of see a little, but honestly, there's no bleed through there. So these are great for your plant, for your happy planner at least, because it's pretty thick. The paper is pretty thick. Okay, so um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this unloading of useless supplies. <laughs> um, and I wish you all a wonderful new school year with all of your children. May God bless them. May, that, may God keep them safe when they go to school. We gotta pray for our kids for their protection all the time. Always. We need to send the angels of God to cover them while they're at school. Because you don't know what they're exposed to at school. You don't know what lurks in the hallways of those schools. So you always need to be on high alert when it comes to your children. Okay, so you guys, I got a lot of stuff to put away. <laughs> all right, I think I just want to just veg out and read a book right now. <sighs> okay, first day of school, I can do this. <laughs> okay, bye guys, have a great week, okay? Thank you for watching, bye-bye.